What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. Hope all's going well on the other side of the Internet. Wanted to do a follow-up video on our Shark Tank episode. If you guys have not seen it yet, uh, here's some links on YouTube somewhere on this page that uh, will link it to the episode. If those links ever go down... Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll update them. I'll find another one on YouTube. Uh, but go ahead and watch that video before we get into it. I want to talk spoilers. We're going to talk a little bit about the ins and outs and our experiences. So we had the opportunity to be on Shark Tank. Uh, we've got selected as one of the, the few companies that would appear on air. The chances to be on Shark Tank are less than your chances to get into Harvard. So you could say I'm better than a Harvard grad. Anyways, uh, we applied a long time ago, and throughout the process, what you see on air is only a portion of what goes on during the series. So I was in there uh, pitching Beard Brand for about 45 minutes and telling our whole story, telling what we're about, telling the bearded lifestyle, telling about what we're passionate about and how we've grown uh, from scratch, how we've bootstrapped. And they didn't show all that. And that's okay. I didn't expect them to do that. Um, but what they did show was our at-home package where they showed me at the beard competition. Uh, kind of told a little uh, story about my wife and my kid and, and uh, gave us a little intro. So it was nice to have a, a little additional time. Now, our thought process on Shark Tank and the whole experience that we're looking to get out of it, it was really a win-win situation for us. We come in there, we gave a reasonable evaluation for our company based on the sales at the time. And if we we're lucky enough to convince a shark to partner with us, then we we're going to have an awesome teammate uh, who could help build the, the company and, and build the brand uh, quicker and faster than we would be able to do it on our own. But if no one offered them, like what happened, uh, we still own control of our business. It's still just the, the three founding team, me, Lindsay, and Jeremy in-house. We work very well together. It's a well-oiled machine. We love going to work every day. There's no bickering internally. There's no drama. And that allows us to really focus on building the company, selling our products, making our products the best that it can, making sure that our customers can get our products as easy as possible. So we'll be getting out to more retailers. And then in addition to that, you know, in addition to maintaining control and the vision of the company, you know, we had all the exposure of being in national TV. So we had the ability to help share the world about urban beardsmen and about the bearded lifestyle and what it means to, you know, really control who you are and, and not let society affect the way you make decisions about your facial hair, but you internally make those decisions. So it was a totally positive experience for us. Uh, I, I don't want to hear any, hey guys, I'm sorry you didn't get a deal because we we're happy regardless of the outcome as long as they portrayed us in an accurate light. And when you have 45 minutes of uh, stuff, they can edit it any way they want. I mean, generally speaking, they can switch facial reactions with different comments from different events and you know, kind of throw in comments. And they did that a little bit, uh, but it wasn't anything that I thought uh, skewed reality. I think the way that they portrayed me on TV portrayed the brand, uh, portrayed the shark's reactions uh, to us and the brand. I think that was all very accurate. I don't think the sharks totally understand what the community is about, what the lifestyle is about. Uh, you saw it directly from Lori. All she can think about with bearded guys are Amish. When it's clear that there's millions of us out there who grow our facial hair, who have beards, and who care about our style and care about looking good and, and care about helping the community. So uh, we're out there to prove them wrong. Uh, we'll need your help. Hopefully you guys will, will join us in this mission as we change the way society views Beardsman. It's been a wonderful time. I'm very, very thankful to be on Shark Tank. I was very thankful to meet the Sharks. Everyone who put on the event uh, or put on the TV show, they're phenomenal people. They're very... Um, forward. They set expectations very clearly. They're very upfront. Wonderful organizations all about. Totally 100% positive experience. Loved everything about it. And uh, I added a little bit more, uh, I guess, a written experience 
about uh, our Shark Tank experience, I'm going to throw that link in the comments. So go ahead, check the comments. We're all right. A little bit more about our experience, a little bit more about getting the deal, and a little bit more about me personally and our family uh, that they showed early on. So guys, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching me on Shark Tank. Thanks for everything. It's been fantastic. We're going to do some fantastic things on here in the world. It's going to change. Beard Brand's going to be responsible. And with your help, we'll do it. Thanks for everything. Cheers. Beard on.